just get this going. There, ready. We're all set. Now, to begin, tell me, what do you see? I don't know. Okay. Try this. Focus on your vision. Did you feel it too? Take your stuff. We're getting out of here. We've got a problem. Call them back. Come on. Damn it. Hurry up. Calm down. Maybe it has nothing to do with the party. You know full well I was in charge of it. If anything goes wrong, it's my head on the chopping block. Fuck. Damn it. It took Hazel months to convince the Hartford Chantry to ally themselves with us. So they finally accept, and then bam, a code red. There's never been a code red in Boston, damn it. This has got to be bad, M.M. It's not like you had anything to do with it. I'm sure... You don't get it. I was in charge of organizing the party. But security is Jara's problem, Yeah, normally. except Jara is a member of the Primogen. I'm not. But you're a harpy. The prince will cover you. You know she's always looking for an excuse to take him down a notch. We'll see. What do we do next? When everyone's safe, we move on to phase two. We clean house. What do you mean by we clean house? Getting rid of our archives, our documents, anything that might betray our network and relationships. Did you say this is the first Code Red in Boston? Ever since the fall of London, protocol is no longer a laughing matter. Whatever. They've been harping on that for four years now. They took away our internet access, our smartphones. It's called risk mitigation, that's all. A code red is an alarm signal that's sent to everyone to say, watch out, we're all in danger. And everyone runs to shelter at the nearest safe house. For us, it's with the prince. It could have been worse. I'd have preferred worse. You're not even listening to me. What comes after phase two? Just pray that it never comes to that. Come on, tell me. We run. 
we leave everything behind and we go into hiding as far from here as we can. There's no way I'm leaving Boston. Everything I have is right here in the city. It took me years to build my clubs. I've worked too hard to give it up now. You won't have a choice. I know you hate coming here. Are you gonna be all right? What do you think? I know how to behave, Jay. Yeah, I know. Just keep your cool and it'll be fine. Ah, my little darlings. You're here at last. The fear that something horrible had happened to you terrified me. No call for theatrics, April. The prince has to see you as soon as you arrived, Amin. I wouldn't dilly-dally if I were you. As for you, Journey, someone's triggered a code red. If anything has happened over there, I'll hold you personally responsible. Back in the day, nobody could bat an eyelash without you knowing about it. You must know exactly what Jay is being blamed for, don't you? Amen. My dear Amen. I adore you. Really, I do. But darling, please, you're way out of your league here. This alliance with the Hartford Chantry is crucial. The prince is on edge. We can't get through to anyone over there. Mm, what does this have to do with Jay? She was in charge of the whole thing, for goodness sake. Listen, both of you. From now on, I don't want to hear another word out of either of you. The prince is furious. Journey, you're coming with me. I don't see why. And as for you, Hazel wants to see you right now. It's gonna be a long night. Miss Lewis, welcome. Who's she, Galeb? M.M. Lewis. She smiles like a Toreador. Letters etched in bold right upon her teeth. What, what about want? that bearded guy who's Your swallowing his bile? Dejan Siaka. A Tremere warlock, then? Keep him at a healthy distance. With a sideward glance, he could make the blood in your veins boil. Is court attendance usually this sparse? We should have all left by now. Are you worried about the Code Red? I'd hate to be Caius right about now. Why? He's second honcho of house security. This promises to be a busy night. I know what you mean. It's one thing to have been told that the Nosferatu don't age well. It's another thing to see it for yourself. It's by no fault of their own. Do you think you'll be able to ask the Prince tonight if you can embrace me? No. Now is no longer the time.
And he is your child? Mr. Beryl Underwood. Tread lightly. He's a member of the Primogen. They're the check to the Prince's power. The check and balance. They backed Hazel when she rose to power after Quentin King. They'd hoped to control her. What? Things didn't go as planned? I just have a feeling she will surprise them. Never forget that the court is a chessboard. We are monsters, and we sacrifice pawns. If you want to be a major piece, then behave accordingly. But... Nothing can happen to you here. We're in the prince's house. She must be finished by now. Wait for me. This won't take long. It's out of the question, M.M. I won't let her get away with this. All right. Calm down, Dijon. Where's Journey? What's it to you? Don't start with me. She was in charge of the party. She has to take responsibility for this. Leave her out of it. It's too late for that. Don't waste your time covering for her. She's not a kid anymore. I haven't heard from my child, and no one's able to get through to them over there. Go on, then. Go and save Imani and stop wasting your breath. There are rules. Need I remind you? We're all stuck here. You're such a good boy. You'll never change. Dijon! What? Oh, come on, Hilda. She needs to grow up. Leave us. I don't need your help. Mem, please, stop calling me that. I was worried about you. You still haven't moved on, have you? You're always getting in my way. Lower your voice. People are staring. Do you know what this Code Red is all about? You're in the Primogen. You must know something. I'm in the same boat as the rest of you. Apparently, it was from one of Moore's retainers. That's all I know. Who's that? Jason Moore. Don't you remember him? He's the human who manages our interests when the sun comes up. He handles our assets, errands with the banks. What does he have to do with this? I don't know. It now seems that Miss Hazel Iverson, the mighty Prince of Boston, is no longer on speaking terms with the Primogen. As if now were the ideal time. She asked to see me. Do you know why? My best guess is that she'd like to talk to you about Journey, of course. I always warned you that girl was trouble. Yeah, sure. I've gotta go. Hazel must be upstairs. I'd better hurry. What about Jara? I haven't seen her. Councillor Drory is not here, nor is Dr. Dunham. Mr. Lido's teams are trying to reach them, but... Nobody's answering? No. They've all got such long faces. Hey, Abby. Hey, M.M. Abby, do you know what's going on? I'm sorry, but I can't. Please? I feel like I've been plopped down in the middle of a minefield. There are rumors about Journey. Rumors about 
how this is all her fault. Did you know that Jay was in charge of the party? Shit. I bet she's gonna take the fall for whatever happened. I don't think she's involved, but we've got to be on our guard. Shitty night, huh? Is there a problem? Sorry, that's not possible. Sorry, ma'am, you can't come through here. What a shitty night. Hazel must be pissed. What the hell could she want with me? Everything okay, Mom? Penny, for your thoughts? Nothing, Pumpkin. What were you saying? You saw pictures again? You're not going back to the Institute, are you? No, don't fret. I'm gonna stay here with you now. I don't like it when Richard takes you away. He's my psychiatrist. He's helping me so I can be with you. Mom has a little trouble sometimes, remember? I see things that haven't happened yet. And I forget others. Yes, I know. And you have to slumber so you can rest all alone sometimes. But three years was too long. It seemed like an eternity without you. I missed you too, Mom. I need my sweet little monster. Mom? What's going on? Why does everybody look so upset? I think something serious is happening. I'm worried. I still haven't seen Richard. I looked for him so he could explain, but he can't be found. So what do we do now? Uh, I was told to wait here because Hazel wants to see us. There are grown-ups coming, and your mother needs to talk to them. Oh, then I'll go hide because grown-ups talk to me too much. <laughs> if you want, sweetie, but don't wander off. Go on. Show me what you do to make sure no one spots you. Okay, here I go. Laisha. It's been a while. Hey, Amen. When did you get out? Just tonight. Hazel wanted to see me. That means she's extremely worried about the situation. That, or she's a major drama queen. I know that you knew her before, but she's the leader of Boston now. You owe her respect before everyone, and in every circumstance. She is your prince. Are you lecturing me? First Siaka, now you. Why won't anybody give me a break tonight? Maybe you asked for it. 
Or maybe if you behaved in a manner more appropriate to the circumstances and our setting, then you'd better understand why everyone is so nervous. See, I could jump down my throat. Was I supposed to let him take his nerves out on me? No, I'm sorry. That's not how things work, Bazori. We must all remain calm and accept any help we can get, even from the most unusual sources. That's surprising to hear, coming from a blue blood. At least your certainties come from a more solid source than a prophecy from a child of Malkov. You don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that whatever the problem is, your hallucinations aren't gonna help us solve it. We're all in danger. When I awoke, I sensed a threat everywhere, all around us. I've never felt anything like it. Please, explain. It was as if we were all going to disappear into chaos. But you're probably right. It's just Hazel and her flair for the dramatic. Only time will tell. Good evening, ladies, sir. The prince shall see you now. Hazel. Delson. Come in, M.M. I wanted to have a word with you. What can I do for you? I'm glad you're here. It's been a long time since we last saw each other. Tell me, where were you tonight? Like everybody else, I suppose. At home, getting ready for the party. How fortunate you weren't running early. Why? What's happened? You know what the code red means. There was a breach. This is intolerable. These agreements were supposed to celebrate the power of my court. Instead, I've been made to look a fool in the eyes of my allies. We'll have to increase our diplomatic efforts with the warlocks. Send new emissaries to Osborne. What's that got to do with me? Don't you worry about that for now. We have more urgent matters to attend to. We bring Journey 
to me. What do you want with her? I have a few questions I need to ask her. If mistakes were made, I need to know what happened. I'm sure that your friend will have a lot to tell me. She hasn't done anything. Hazel, I'll be the judge of that. Yes, my prince. I'll be right back. I didn't bring you here just for that. I have something to offer you. I'm listening. It's about the Primogen Council. You know everyone who's in it. Beryl, Richard, Hilda. Their support was much appreciated after the disappearance of the previous prince. Quentin King. But now, they've become an obstacle. It's been going on for months. They systematically oppose everything that I do. It must stop now. The Camarilla has faced many challenges in the past few years. Many of our strongholds have fallen. I won't let Boston suffer the same fate. But for that, I need loyal allies. Also, how would you like a spot in the Primogen? I... Uh... What? You've always taken care of your community, M.M. Without ever asking for anything in return. It might be time you took a leading role in the community's affairs. Hilda won't let you do it. She'll never see me as her equal. Being seated next to her child? She'll feel humiliated. I'm her prince. She will obey me. She's not gonna like it. I don't care. What I'm offering is much bigger than all that. What do you think? You know what I think of the court. I'm not comfortable there. You'll get used to it quickly. I'm not sure I want to. It's not a question. Time is of the essence. You're a businesswoman, M.M. I know you'll be up to it. But we'll talk about it again soon. In the meantime... I know. Jay, I'm going to go see Sylvia first. I need to clear my head. Do it. You won't be able to hunt tonight. It's better to be prepared. Bring me Journey. I will. I have the utmost confidence in you, M.M. Do not fail me. You can count on me. What the hell is going on? M.M., I'm happy to see you in one piece. Hey, Syl. I'd like some refreshment, please. Of course, I'll get you a glass. I was thinking more like a vessel. Oh, serve yourself. But try not to damage them, okay? They're all I've got left in stock. I get it, I'll be careful. I'm right here if you need anything else. from anyone do you think that now's not the time to be thinking about that we're not the only ones freaking out look around exactly we've got to keep our wits about us got it yeah <sighs> i really hope it's not serious follow me yes ma'am
I told you to be careful. Sorry, I got carried away. It's all right, as long as it stays between us. But watch out. This kind of slip-up could cost us big out there. Can I help you? I've got to talk to Jay. You haven't seen her, have you? No, you should ask April. It's a good idea. Thanks for the advice. Do you still work for April? Well, aren't you rude? My loyalty is with the court. Seems like Bosley's leading you around by the nose, though. She's got some extra responsibilities, sure. But that's it. I have my own agenda. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised. I've got stuff to do. See you later. I know that perfume. Jay. That's Jay's scarf. That's Jay's scarf. Where did you go, Jay? Victoria! M.M. My little Rose. It's been so long. An eternity, you mean. And yet, look at you. As splendid as always. I've learned from the best. Adorable. How are you? Uh, this is a rather depressing night for a reunion. This atmosphere is starting to weigh on me. We haven't had any news, but everyone is expecting the worst. What a strangely human attitude. I understand them. Some are waiting for their children, others for their sires. Are you waiting for someone too? No. That explains why I'm less stressed out than everyone else. I hear business is going well for you. Your Black Rattlers are making quite the splash. You can be proud of everything you've accomplished, darling. Your name is on everyone's lips. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. I'm really happy to see you again. I wish I had more time to talk. Is there something stopping you? You could say that. One of my acquaintances is in hot water with Miss Iverson. I need to help her. I'm going to give you a piece of advice then. Don't waste your energy helping others. Let others handle their own problems. Their mistakes aren't your business. Journey is someone I can trust. I can't let her down now. Is Journey a prince? No. Then her opinion doesn't matter. The only individuals who should matter to you are royalty. The rest... They're just for decoration. Thanks for the advice, Victoria. You've helped put things into perspective. It's only natural. I'll always be here for you, darling. And I hope the feeling is mutual. You know it is. Wonderful. I'm relieved to see that despite the travails of time and distance, our friendship is still intact. What are you doing in town anyways? The last time I heard about Victoria Ash, she'd just gotten back to Atlanta. You know I never stay in one place for long. But to answer your question, I came to do business. For the agreement, I'm guessing. You guessed right. I'd hoped to meet up with one of my associates tonight, a warlock I'd sent to Hartford. Unfortunately, he still hasn't made his appearance. He might still come. The night's not over yet. Oh, you're refreshingly naive. We'll see. I imagine you received the alert as well. Yes. I was with your prince when the message was sent. 
Do you have any idea who triggered it? Alas, I have no idea. Iverson didn't care to share that with me. She knows how to control information. I'm not even sure she knows herself. She's going to need answers. I doubt her subjects will wait much longer. I've heard rumors about you. Something about a wedding? Oh yes! My wedding to Tagirius! It was fabulous. We had a spectacular celebration. I think congratulations are in order. Oh, do you? It's a political marriage. Nothing more. Our family needed it. You did it for the cam? You seem surprised to hear it. You may not have noticed, but the Camarilla has lost some of its luster since the Anseli left. Our survival depends on our ability to make compromises. You knew Boston when it was a Malkavian city. What do you think about the court now? Iverson has successfully made her mark. It can't have been easy, with Quinton's grip on the city. Boston was on the brink of chaos when Hazel took over. I don't always agree with her methods, but she gets the job done. She knows what she wants. I respect that. Our family needs more leaders like her. That would be a welcome change from our usual weather vanes. What did you hope your emissary would do? Double-cross Iverson? Oh, please, M.M. I'm just curious, that's all. Diplomats are rarely sent out without good reason. If you sent someone, then there was something in it for you. I'm simply maintaining my relations with the outside. Atlanta has been through dark times. It will need a strong network of allies if it hopes to return to its former power. So, you're networking, basically. Exactly. I'm sorry, but I've got to go. I understand. Duty calls, but before you leave, I have a favor to ask you. I mentioned my emissary earlier. If you hear anything about him, please let me know when you get back, would you? I thought I was only supposed to focus on my prince. Have you had a change of heart? Huh. You're using my own words against me? It's a big favor. I'm aware of that. But I'm a loyal friend, and powerful too. If you can do this for me, I'll owe you one. Fine. I'll let you know if I learn anything. Oh, thanks, M.M. I hope I'll see you again soon, darling. If you need anything, I'll be right here. Thanks, Victoria. See you later. I'm sorry, another time perhaps. Underwood and Fang. The Zori's ears must be burning. Hey, Fang. Good evening, Miss Lewis. Call me a man, please. Did you come with Caleb? Yes, but he's so very busy. You didn't happen to see Journey, did you? I'm sorry. I don't know everyone's names yet. Yes? Everything's gonna be fine. Calm 
down. Kelton and Lazarus. Mm, I smell gossip. It's locked. Zikala saw. Jay always got along well with her sire. Lucky bitch. Jay was looking for a file that Jara took from the archives. Interesting. Her last message to Abigail. The file. Where they put it that could be of interest to me i hope you didn't forget anything jay Gotta hurry. I'm not supposed to be here. Boston, Boston, Boston. Lazarus knows all of the city secrets. These books are gorgeous. Lazarus must have paid a fortune for them. Oh, I'm playing with fire. If someone spots me... Battery's dead. This page was torn out. Oh, you again. What do you want? If Zeus had chosen flower to reign over all others, the rose would be queen. April, have you seen Jay anywhere? You can't let her out of your sight for two seconds. The prince sent me to get her. I can't discuss that with you. Not that I think in a million years this is what happened, but what if Jay messed up somehow? What would happen to her? Depends on the mistake. 
and how bad the consequences were. At best, the prince will be mad. At worst, destruction? Yeah, there's a good chance of that. You can tell me. My lips are sealed. The only way I can make sure you don't talk is to keep my own lips sealed. Fine. I won't insist. If you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Yeah, sure. What attitude? It's a good thing I was careful earlier. Hazel's gonna want answers. What a nightmare. Bosley's looking for answers. Disaster. Hey, what now? You seem busy. I'll leave you alone. You catch on quick. Elevator to get here. What were you doing in the archives? A file about a party from a few years ago. It's the one Journey asked Abigail to look at.
trail ends there. Where could she have gone after that? What a shitty night. Do you think the code red will last much longer? I hope not. The faster I get out of here, the better. What? And Mem Lewis, the Black Rattler's Rose, is afraid of a handful of politicians? God, no. <laughs> Fine. Let me know if I can do anything for you. I'm supposed to find Jay. Any chance you've seen her? Yeah, earlier. She went into that alcove on your right, but that was a while ago. Thanks. You... you might want to avoid hanging around with her, you know? I've heard stuff about her. I know, and it's not true. She didn't do anything, all right? Fine. Sorry. Did you need anything else? Miss Iverson has the top floor all to herself. Yes, that's where she's got her office for hearings, as well as her personal quarters. Miss Bosley is the only one who has access to them. I heard the Prince put together a surveillance unit. Yeah, the cave. Mr. Lido and his team spend their nights there. It's just below us. But don't even think about going down there. It's only for sewer rats. Thanks for the vessel. My pleasure. Come back any time you want. M.M., we haven't seen you here in ages. Abigail, we've got to talk. M.M., we haven't seen you here in ages. Did you want something, perhaps? You haven't seen Journey, have you? She's not here. It would be a shame if you've showed up too late. You rotten son of a bitch. I don't have time for this. If you say so, the pleasure was mine, Mem. Say hello to your sire for me. Good evening. Come with me. There. Okay. Sure. Yes. I never liked this stuff before. Why would I want it in the blood I drink now? Can I help you? I told you I was looking for Jay earlier. And? And? I found the note she left you. I wonder what April would say if I showed it to her. You went through my stuff? Is that all you're worried about? Uh, no. It wasn't personal. Journey was in a panic. She asked me for the pass to get into Jara's apartment. Did she say why? Only that she was looking for evidence. I didn't really get it. Let's keep this between us, all right? April's got other fish to fry. I'll see about that. I'm going to find her. Jara's apartment. That's on the primogen floor. What was Jay looking for up there? You... You want to...
Yes, darling? Mm, I've gotta go. See you later, darling. I... I'm sorry about before. I'm just a little edgy tonight. I know. This isn't the first time we've gotten in a fight over nothing. Your child, Imani. She was there. Still no news? No. Radio silence. And Hazel refuses to talk to me. I spent months kowtowing to those Hartford assholes for this agreement. If she has the info, now's not the time to hold it back. These Hartford guys. How well do you know them? Well enough. I won't let things end like that. I'm looking for Journey. Have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. I assume you've already tried her office? You told me you knew the Hartford Warlocks well. Yeah, some of them. I was in touch with their representative, Deneb. He was supposed to replace me on the council. You're leaving us? Uh, not really. It's part of the agreement with the Chantry. Deneb and I were supposed to switch places. Why was Hazel doing business with them? She had plans for the blood market in the region. We were meant to be in charge of supplying high quality blood. They were supposed to take care of stabilizing it, or try at least. That's nuts. Has anyone ever tried it before? Never. That's why I'm worried. I don't give a shit about Hartford, but this project is really important. I understand. Well, I'll leave you to it. I've got to find Jay. If I see Journey, I'll tell her you're looking for her. It's a shame to see the court in such a state. It's locked. Hey. What now? You seem busy. I'll leave you alone. You catch on quick. from the Convention of Thorns. A book about alchemy? That's a weird thing to keep. <laughs> 